Oh, I to take a nap, Jerry. After Sunday afternoons, a quick time to take a nap. So I'm home for that Sunday afternoon, and then Sunday evening we have the evening meal on Sunday, which often is hot dogs, you know, hot dogs and potato salad. That makes a nice dinner on Sunday afternoon, and that and that comes soon enough. And then after that, I sit around for the evening and go to bed about 9, 9.30, and then get up again on Monday morning and start a brand new week. That's my schedule. Another week, another, another they, they used to say, another day, another dollar. That, that, was, that was a slogan for people working. But of course, we make more than a dollar in a week. And we better make it. Because of course we're going to have to live. I need that money to live. Yeah, my wife needs it to buy groceries. She does it every week. She buys fresh groceries. And oftentimes I'm not with her. She does it alone. But she's got the car, so she could take it and load up the back seat if, if she's got that much groceries. But doesn't have too, doesn't have too much more than a, a couple of big bags so and then she brings that home and then puts the groceries away and puts the car away in the garage and we're set waiting for the next the next week which will start on Monday morning. And that's that's the next week. And I start on Monday morning and I don't know if it's my turn to drive or not, I suppose it is. I suppose I'll start driving on Monday morning and pick up the carpool. And I'll get them all to work on time, I expect. We try to get to work on time. 8, eight or 8.15, we try to be working. And we work all day long, and then we'll start again at quarter two five. We start picking up people at our workplace and driving them home. So I'll have them home by 5.30. They're all done. They're all done by 5.30, and I'm going back to sleep in my house after dinner. I have dinner first, and then and then we, by then it's Monday evening, uh, we're, we're to bed by, it's only after nine o'clock on Monday evening, usually that's true. Then I let it go and I sleep till eight o'clock Tuesday morning, or, or, or 7.45. And then, so then where I walk for another day of work. I work Monday through Friday every week. And I take off Saturday and Sunday. Sundays I go to church, but I get up at, at eight anyway, eight o'clock, I'm on my way, getting dressed and getting ready for church. And my car is ready. And we take the car in and, and we, I go to church in the morning on Sunday. And then after church, I usually many weeks have to fill up with gas, but not too, not too, not too much today. I got enough in the tank, so I won't even fill up today. I'll wait. Maybe I could get through another week with the gas I have. And the tank is full, so I should, I should get a, get through the week without adding any more gas. I don't get it every week. Every other week, maybe I do. Yeah. Maybe every other week I have to fill up with gas, but not this week. I got enough to get by, so I'll leave the car sit there and use it every day. It takes me to the railway station where I get off and leave the car and get in a train and go into New York City. That's where the jobs are. A lot of us go into New York City every day to work, and then after work come back home and get in our car and go home for the evening. And many times we don't have to go out or anything. We got our work done, ready to go out and rest in the evening, Monday evening. It's a good night to rest. Yeah, we are resting on Monday evening. But that'll be another week, of course, so who knows what happens this week. I know what happens. I got to work five days. Five days, Monday through Friday, every day I go in about the same time and come home about the same time. And then on Friday night, 
I fill the car up with gas for the for the following week, and I go into the weekend with a tank full of gas. And the car runs well. I'm, I'm lucky to have a good car. I pay for it, of course, but I'm lucky to have it. Almost everybody I know has a pretty good car. Except.